Good morning, guys. So today we have a lot on the agenda. The main thing I'm trying to get done today is a bulk of my grocery shopping. As I mentioned in the last video, um, I did, I have started grocery shopping, but when I told you I was picking up things little by little, um, meaning like when I went to the grocery store to get like my everyday food, I would pick up like four cans of things here, there, pick up a sugar here, like things like that. But I kind of just want to get it knocked out the way um, today because um, I basically hit my um, saving goal. And I think I talked about that a little bit more as well on the first video. Um, how basically I'm going about budgeting for all of this. So I hit my savings goal to purchase food, which means that I can go ahead and get all the things I want to put in the barrel. And really, I feel like this is the best way to do it, regardless of if you just have money like that or if you're saving on a budget, whatever. I feel like the best way is to get things done little by little, not only because of the money, but also the stress. If anybody knows, it's very stressful to try and pack a barrel, especially when you're going to go collect the barrel and you're not just sending it to somebody else. It's very stressful, like trying to make sure you have everything that you want. So you have to make a list and things like that. And then even after you make a list, sometimes you'll forget things that was never even on the list. So if you take your time and do things little by little, I feel like you have a smaller chance of forgetting anything. Um, so or a bigger chance of remembering everything. Um, so today um, I've already went through my list, marked off everything that I already have. And then I'm going to pick up what I don't have and what I do need. Guys, this is just about what I do need. Yeah, so getting what you do need because at the end of the day, Jamaica is a functioning country. I hate when y'all make it seem like everything have to go in a barrel. It don't. Jamaica is a functioning country that literally feed people every day. So they have these things. I'm just taking what I know is going to be extremely expensive or is a little bit out of the, not out of the budget, but you know, things that are just, it just make you look and be like, why does this cost so much? So I'm going to be getting that for myself. And, you know, I'm just going to bring you guys along on the journey so that you can see what I do and how I do it. This is not my first barrel or my second barrel. I'm not going to say I'm experienced because I know some of y'all been doing this from before I was a child. But this is how I do it. So come with me and I'll show you how we do that. Y'all, I am sweating. I finished my grocery shopping. Now I am getting personal. Y'all, it is, hold on. It is officially 12 o'clock noon. And I came to Walmart at nine o'clock. And I've been here for three hours. Um. I did two separate trips inside the store. Um, I'm just not about that. Pack my cart like a mountain life. So I packed the cart as much as I could handle. And then I cashed out and went back in. I went, I did grocery first. And then I went to the other side of the store and did um, houseware and things like that. And this is everything. And the trunk is full. So this is everything so i'm gonna go over all of it though i was supposed to go to ross today but y'all i haven't ate yet i'm hungry i kind of want some starbucks and i'm also supposed to braid my hair today um i know like i can actually braid my hair throughout the week because it's not going to take me one day um i kind of want them a little long um, I can braid my hair throughout the week, but I do have to pick up the hair because more than likely I'll start on my hair tonight. But my mom did ask me to fry her some fish. <laughs> so I'm going to make my mom some fish so that when she get home from work, she can have something to eat. So I'm going to do that. 
and um yeah get something from starburst go to beauty supply store and go home and relax for a little bit oh and i have to clean up y'all you should see my bathroom my bathroom is a mess my room's a mess everything's a mess and that is the good thing about doing everything in increments when you're shopping before going to jamaica because like if i was supposed to be saying leaving next week or leaving two weeks from now I wouldn't be able to go stop and go get something to eat and go home and relax and do all the things that I, you know, that I need to do. I would have to get everything today. I don't like shopping um, when I'm on a timetable. I don't like doing that. So I'm just taking my time. And that way I kind of also just don't see the money leaving my account <laughs> because I'm doing it so, like little by little. You know how I mean? It's like I'm throwing a partner, but with buying stuff so like i get all the things that i need but i don't see the money and that works perfectly for me um when i i'm not sure if i want to do like a um what did i buy at the end of this video um, to show you all of the things that i purchased this trip or if i should wait until i'm doing a pack of barrel with me to show you everything but also when i'm packing the barrel i don't think i'm gonna be showing anything like that i'm just gonna be showing you how i pack my barrel and i'm still going back and forth between shipping one barrel or two or maybe like a big one and a smaller one or a barrel in a box whatever but i do know that i don't want to put my chemicals with my food because it has a tendency like if your flour and your rice and stuff has a tendency to have the taste of the stuff that's in your barrel so i never recommend you shipping them together even when you tape them and all that stuff it doesn't really matter um but y'all the biggest purchase i've made since i started this so far it seems so small to y'all but it's some pots y'all these pots right here the pink diamond y'all good pots are so expensive because i can get a pot set that has a whole lot of pot um different pieces in it and it's gonna be relatively cheap and then i can say i have a lot of pieces of um cookware but a lot of pieces of cookware that's gonna half my food is gonna be left in that pot because it's gonna be sticking um so i try to stay away from that mainstay um walmart brand pots um because even if they're non-stick y'all they gonna stick and i just feel like those are just not made to cook Jamaica. so i have changed my mind on that starbucks i'm actually hungry y'all like actually hungry so with that being said i am going to go get some food like getting a drink at starbucks don't even make no sense because i'm starving to death and it's not like starbucks about to give me a three-course meal so i'm gonna go get some food and think on coming back out today but i'm i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you the chances of me coming up back out today is like under 10 percent. so um yeah right now i am driving and y'all don't do this because i actually have the phone in my hand please don't be doing this but for i it's actually not too bad y'all me a big driver i know big driver so and y'all side note right let me turn this music down side note when men be on the street watching y'all drive and you not going fast enough for them but you're going to speed limit sir it doesn't matter if you are in the back seat of my car i'm not speeding up for nobody i'm just not there's no need for me to be going 90 miles per hour on this little country street it don't make any sense so no matter if you're in my back seat if you're sitting right next to me in my car i'm not speeding up for nobody just relax it's saturday unless you're in an emergency vehicle it's not that serious y'all remember how i said i wasn't going to come back out well i lied i am back out and i actually just came to pick up a barrel um i actually picked it up at the jamaican market here by where i live and i got the plastic one 
and it was only $68 for some reason in my mind I thought it was more money but it was only $68 so that's really good I think it's really good I don't know how much they're supposed to cost but in my head $68 is not bad because everything is just so expensive these days $68 is relatively good for me so there's no complaints whether I'm going to need one or two barrels I don't know yet but I do know that I want to have some separation with my food items and any chemicals like dish detergent, laundry detergent, things like that. I do want to have some type of separation. So <clears throat> I think um, I'm going to let you guys know how that goes. Because once again, I'm just packing for myself. So it's not like I need two, three barrels. I don't need none of that. I just need one barrel because it's just for me and me and me and me alone. So I feel like I'm not going to need more than one. So... I will definitely just keep you guys posted though and this was also not planned but I am actually driving past or about to drive past the dollar store so I feel like I should stop um, for me the dollar store is like a really really good place to get like duct tape and things like that to help me pack and also y'all please don't sleep on Dollar Tree because Dollar Tree will really have you um like the plates and things like that yeah it definitely makes sense to get like the sets so you're not buying so many different but once again it's just me so the dollar tree is effective or cost effective for me versus a family I wish this man would just reverse because clearly the reverse lights is on and I was waiting for them to reverse but it looked like they were waiting for me to pass so I'm gonna have to hit a little turn hey guys so this is really me just wrapping this video up I actually um pretty much got all of my necessities today or all of the things I consider necessities um will I need to go back to the store I'm sure I will um but for the most part I'm only allowing myself maybe 300 additional dollars because I have gotten everything that I needed to get so if I'm getting something else it's going to be something that is not necessary and until I am settled into this life and my move and the new place, I don't want to overspend because I know that I am going to have hiccups or I want to plan for hiccups so that I'm not caught looking stupid. I have a backup. So with that being said, I'm only allowing myself 250 to 300 additional dollars um more and only because they're the only thing i haven't gotten is um curtains and sheets um like i said it is a start and i don't want to overwhelm myself i have no problem y'all starting with one set of sheets when they're dirty i wash them same day they dry same day i put them back on the bed um here at home, I know I got about 30 sheets, but that's for here. I don't want to take anything from my home to bring it there with me. So, um, I am considering getting maybe one, maybe two at the most, um, and some curtains as well to go with my personal aesthetic. So, today... Um, I did put like a little clip in here with the first receipt because I went into Walmart twice. The first time, um, my Walmart is actually separated by grocery and houseware and everything else, um, as most Walmarts are, but I did go to the grocery site first and after come doing my grocery shopping, 
I only spent about 300 and 50 or 70 something dollars I did get a hundred dollars cash back which is probably what you saw on the receipt but in total I actually spent on food 300 plus um, yeah and then when I went in the second time I spent almost the same thing and then after that of course I placed a clip of me going to the dollar store I think at a dollar store I spent like $60 so in total you could say you could say I spent about so three fifty three fifty three seven you could say I spent close to eight hundred dollars and then yeah um <clears throat> but like I said there's a method to my madness and I'm not act actually like seeing that much money going missing because it is money that I put away for that very reason like i decided what i needed and i looked at the prices of things that i wanted and i came up with a budget that would suit me so that i'm not overextending myself and so that i can still do everything i want to do until i leave i'm not giving up anything i'm still going where i want to do going where i want to go going to the restaurant doing everything going shopping i'm not taking away from what i'm doing here so that it doesn't become a burden it's still something that i look forward to because i'm planning for it and that's the thing y'all y'all just got to be very intentional and then within that budget guys um which is why i say um i have about 250 to 300 more to spend um within that budget is also the picking up of the barrel and shipping off the price for that is is 120 so if I really take the 120 from the 300, I got a what 280 um, that I can really play around with for sheets and curtains, which is not bad. If there's anything that's left over, I just simply put it to the budget for something else. Um, so that at the end of the day, I'm saving because like I said, you never know what can happen when you get there. You're not gonna know how much it's gonna cost to clear it. You can guess all day how much money you think you're going to need to clear a barrel but you just never know at least that's my personal opinion um so that's that one. but yeah and guys i actually enjoy every step that i'm taking when i say i enjoy every step that i'm taking i don't know if y'all can see it on my face but i enjoy every step i'm taking while making these plans like literally there is a ginormous lizard in front of me and even that lizard cannot steal my joy okay because i'm planning and i'm making moves baby that lizard cannot steal my joy um so yeah i'm enjoying every step and it's more enjoyable because I'm planning and executing the plan rather than like rather than being um rather than being, you know, discombobulated. I have a plan and it's so much easier to accomplish with the plan. So that is it for today, guys. Um I don't want to make any promises, but I think the next video that I'm going to be doing will be um what i bought and what's going in my barrel Ooh, instead of a what is in my bag i'm gonna do what's in my barrel anyways i'm going to show you that and um all of that stuff i'm gonna do all that good stuff so i'm gonna show you what i got and break down how much everything is so that you can kind of see like a realistic number because you know you can see what I bought if it's up to your standards and you can see what you can kind of look forward to spending um, for yourself. But like I said, it is different because it is just me. And of course, my price is going to be very much different from you if you're shopping for a family or anything like that. All right, so bye guys. If you haven't already liked, comment, or subscribed, what are y'all waiting on? I'm sitting here waiting for y'all to send me messages. I do see some people um, messaging me on my personal social media, which is great. Um, I don't mind. I will share. Um, as long as you're not asking nothing too personal. But I don't mind sharing. So for sure like comment and subscribe guys and i'll be more than happy to let y'all know what's going on the plans and everything but until then guys see y'all next time